Hi again everybody, this is Lee from Monmouthshire Paranormal and this very short tutorial is in response to a request that came through YouTube. Um, one of the viewers there had watched my uh, tutorial on how to um, clean up and remove background sound from your EVP and ITC recordings and apparently had um, quite an interest in recording themselves but they needed to elongate the sound, to stretch it slightly. Now, if you're going to do that, it's always best to try and alter the sound without altering the pitch. Although we, we will cover that in a minute. So, first of all, you're going to want to open your sound manipulation software. Now, I use WavePad, which is about oh, £20 or so to buy. £20 UK sterling, $25 US. But there are other excellent um, audio manipulation Software is out there. Um, Audacity is one that springs to mind. That's completely free of charge. And anything that I tell you here can actually be applied directly to Audacity. The two of them are very, very uh, similar in operation. But what we need first to do then is to find ourselves a file. Now, rather than actually use um, an EVP file, I'm going to use a piece of music because EVP, by their very nature, are often incredibly um, difficult to detect. And so let's let's go for good old Metallica, Master of Puppets. There we go. Now I think we're going to have to uh, reduce the audio on that slightly because, as Metallica, I want to do they're very loud. Back in the days when they used to be thoroughly awesome, now they're just slightly awesome. So what we've got here is our sound file already now loaded up into NCH WavePad. Don't worry, I'm not going to subject you non-metal lovers to the full thing. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a small section. We'll start right here at the beginning. Um, and we're going to extract that small bit. Now, all you need to do, just left click. And wherever you left click, this indicator bar will go directly to whichever part of the file you want it to. So imagine now that we just want this little bit at the beginning. So left click, drag your mouse back to the beginning, highlights that section, right click, copy. And then you can take this whole file and you can put it back in its folder. That file is now safe. Whatever you do to this next piece is not going to alter that, which is always very good to keep your raw files in a separate folder. Because I know a lot of the uh, the naysayers and the detractors and the debuggers will say, oh, well, you've been adjusting it, you've sound adjusted it, you've cleaned it, you've altered the, the speed. Well, that's only for our ease of use. If you've got a raw file to play them, then they really have no ammunition to fire at us. So left click on file and then new file and that will open up a blank page and then just right click and paste and there we have the beginning of Metallica's Master of Puppets so you want to let's say you want to uh, elongate that slightly so I'm just going to right click and select all and then you don't have to do that, by the way. So we, I tell you what, we won't bother doing that because you don't have to do it. Um, come up here to the top taskbar. Make sure you're in effects here and come along to speed. Now, if you left click speed, this will bring a drop down menu of four options. Speed, uh, pitch speed profile, speed and pitch change, speed change, pitch change. We don't want to alter the pitch right now, but we do want to alter the speed. So left click on that. And as you can see now, it's already pre-highlighted it for us and it's showing us the resultant duration of the whole file is 15.391 seconds. Now, you can alter this in a number of ways. You can use the sliders here, but they really are very twitchy and you never get it exactly where you want. You can use the incremental arrows up and down here, or in fact, the easiest way to do it is just to double click, double left click in the box, highlights the whole thing, and then you can put whatever you want in. So let's say we wanted to slow it down um, so we'll put in that we want the file to be 20 seconds long. Now you can click on the play icon here 
and that will preview it for you. But being as our reference file is safe, just apply it. Now there's a lot more information in this file than in your average EVP file or ITC. So it will take a second or two just to process that. But as soon as it does, there you go, you'll see that the file itself has elongated slightly. So when we play it now, and if we compare that to the original file, the original speed, Now we can also, if we need to, speed things up. So you come again to speed change. Um, as you said, the whole file is around 13.035 seconds. So say we wanted to make it 10 seconds. Now we've speed adjusted, we've increased the speed to 130%. So we apply that. As soon as you see on your indicator bar at the top there, your progress bar, it's fully processed and now it's actually about the speed they play it live these days um, and if at any time you need to go back a step then all you need to do is come up here to the very top left and do previous change just left click and we're back where we started now Sometimes you might get an EVP that after it's been cleaned, and if you don't know how to clean it, just have a look on my YouTube channel, and there is um, a tutorial there, as I've said, about how to um, clean up, take away background noise from your EVPs. Um, you might want to draw the sound out slightly, so sometimes if the sound file is longer, as we've just done here, it's easier to understand, but you might also need to adjust the pitch, because on occasion, you might get what appears to be a very low rumble. You adjust the pitch, bring it up a bit, perhaps even speed it up a bit, and then you will often get uh, intelligible, logical answers to the questions you're asking. But if we just want to uh, adjust the pitch now, again, just to remind us, this is what it sounds like now. So we want to adjust the pitch. So again, up to speed, left click, pitch change. Now this is somewhat different to the speed change as you can imagine because this now is given you in semitones. So at the moment 14.601 semitones. So as you can see that has uh, raised the pitch quite a fair bit. Now this one, that should be, that should be somewhere around normal. And then you can... Well, as you can tell, that sounds quite ludicrous, but that, that gives you the general idea. So, so one more time, you come up to speed, left click. You can either speed change it by clicking speed or pitch change. If you're going to pitch change it, you're really not going to have to pitch change, pitch change it that much. Um, so if you bring it back down, it's unlikely you're going to have to draw anything out down to that level or indeed take anything up to that level but it'll give you it gives you a general idea they are really simple pieces of software to use if you know how to use them I know when I first started using them I used to sort of potch around in them for hours not knowing exactly what I was doing and where I was doing it but all you need a couple of pointers in the right direction and you too can have awesome EVP well I hope that was useful to everybody Thank you for listening. I'm going to go off now and do something unconnected to EVP, which will probably mean cooking egg, chips and beans and stuffing my face. Thank you for watching.
please do comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're into these videos, generally EVP, ITC, that sort of thing. And I will catch you on the other side.